Hey, welcome to Resource Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. The betrayal of Israel is almost complete. The betrayal of the United States is almost complete. And the betrayer, the traitor, is on his way to seal the deal with our allies. I'm talking about Joe Biden, Anthony Blinken, Victoria Nuland, Jake Sullivan, all these people have been working diligently against Israel from the Obama administration to the present. Everything uh, Biden has done is to insult Israel and embolden our enemies. He is a betrayer. He has opened the borders for a reason, to allow saboteurs in, so that when the time comes, which is now, they can destroy us from within. He is a traitor to the American people. Everything he has done has worked against Israel. Everything Obama has done has worked against Israel. Do you think now for one moment he is going to take the side of Israel? He has been working alongside with Obama to enrich Iran so that they can destroy Israel. Obama did not destroy ISIS. Obama did not do anything but restrain Israel through threats. If you retaliate too much, we're going to cut off your funds. Biden is doing the exact same thing. The proof is the meetings that they are holding in Jordan right now with our enemies. I want you to think about that. Joe Biden is totally against America. Look at everything he's done. He's wrecked the economy. He's turned off the oil. He's waged war on gas. He's waged war on over 50% of Americans, calling us a direct threat to democracy. His democracy is turning it into a socialist regime dictatorship. You see that with the assault on the censorship. You see that with the assault on the Second Amendment rights. You see that on our Fourth Amendment rights and our Fifth Amendment rights through spying, through the FBI surveillance and everything else. He is going to Israel to meet with our enemies in Jordan and in Egypt. They know where, they know exactly where the PLO is. The leader of the Palestine, Palestinian Liberation Army lives in an apartment in Jordan while his Palestinian people who voted for Hamas, the murderers, kicked him out. So he is living well. He has reaped the rewards from uh, American subsidies and still continues to do so. Yasser Arafat died a multi, multi, multi millionaire, almost a billionaire from funds he siphoned off from America that was supposed to go to food and medicine. He had a Swiss bank account worth something like $300 million that he siphoned off and others. Yasser Arafat's living daughter is a multimillionaire thanks to the embezzlement of funds they stole from the Palestinian people. Joe Biden, Anthony Blinken, Jake Sullivan, Victoria Nuland are negotiating with these people to betray Israel. They have given Iran more money than they could have possibly made by selling oil. They know exactly where that money is going to. And don't you believe saying, well, it's just going to humanitarian aid. They kill their own people. They starve to death their own people. Like all good dictatorships do, they use food as a weapon. And Joe Biden is going to meet with the Palestinian leader, Mahmoud Abbas, I believe is his name, to cut a deal saying, if we eliminate Hamas, your people that voted you out, we will convince Israel to take over the Gaza Strip. You can have your two state and everybody be happy. The trouble is PLO 
does not recognize the right for Israel to exist. But this is the liberals' pipe dream, both here in the United States and abroad. And these liberals that are betraying us right now know that. That's why the plan is not to just get Israel destroyed, but to destroy America from within. With all the illegal immigrants, it is very possible and very likely that as soon as Israel starts to invade, that is the go for saboteurs here in the United States to put us in the dark, to put us in danger, and to wreak havoc and chaos here in the United States, all under Joe Biden, Anthony Blinken, the failed retread who was totally against Israel under Obama, Victoria Nuland, who started the war, instigated the war in Ukraine to destabilize it. And she was a failure under Obama, but now they have revised their plans to destroy America from within. Those, those Marines that they're sending have sent there and are on standby, aren't there just to look and see? Words are cheap from this man who can't even remember where he's at. Do not believe him. They are there to betray Israel and to drag us into World War III. Be prepared. As a prepper, you should be prepared to live without power. You should be prepared to live in the dark. You should be prepared to survive on your own. The government is not there to help you. You see these people around the world saying death to Israel. And they are here in the United States by invitation, and now you have liberal congressmen and women saying bring the Palestinians in. Nobody else in the region wants the Palestinians, but you have the liberals that are destroying America from within because they want a place in the new world order. That's all it is, it's retaining power. And they think that they are gonna be dictators over you and I. You get yourself right with God. You ask, you ask for forgiveness. You change your lifestyle. You repent of your sins. Time is so short, folks, you will not believe it. And you get baptized, submerged in water. Another one just went down, Bear Grylls. Running with Bear Grylls. You've seen him on his shows. He just got baptized, submerged in water in the Jordan River and said that was the lifelong dream of his, and he is grateful for it. Get it done. More and more people are seeing the truth. God is revealing what is going to be happening, and they are getting right with God. You should too. Thank you for liking and subscribing to Erie Shores Prepping. Look at my community page, please. Greg out.